in this video we are going to see how to store our uh, values in a particular values here we have a b c d e f we can store values in these as well as we can store values in this x y and m so we are going to see how to store values in these uh, different uh, variables and how to use them in our calculator other than that we are going to see today how to use our m plus function so you can see above ac there is a button m plus we are going to see how to use it so first we are going to see how to store a value in this a now i have taken a simple example where my interest rate is 6.25 percent and I want to use it in these two equations. So one equation is this, one equation is this. Now what I can do is if my i is 6.25, my 1 plus i is going to be 1.0625. Now I will store this value because it is easier to replace 1 plus i other than putting brackets and stuff. So therefore I will write 1 plus i as our 1.0625. 0.625 and I will store it in A. So to store it in A, what we have to do is, we will say our 1.0625, this and then we press shift and RCL button. You can see above that RCL button, you have STO written in yellow. So to access that, you press shift and then RCL and you will see above your calculator, there is an STO written just above the cursor you will find an STO value written that says that your store has been activated. So what you have to do next is just press the value in which you have to store. You can press your A, B, C, D, E, F any of these values. So let's say I am storing it in A. So I pressed A and you will see that it will show you value arrow A. So you have, it has stored the value in A. Now after storing this value how to use it now I'll press AC to go to our blank screen and my equation is 500 into 1 plus i raised to 5 that will be a raised to 5 so I'll say into and I will use alpha to access that button if press alpha and then press that a button and you will see a popping up so a raised to we need 5 and then we'll press arrow plus 200 into alpha a raised to 3. So we get this. So our answer here is going to be 916.933. Then if we want to use it again in our second equation, we'll press AC and we'll say we'll have 700 divided by we'll have alpha a raised to 3 and then plus we'll have 200 okay sorry so to go out of this division i'll have to press arrow key so now you can see the cursor on the side plus we'll have 200 divided by alpha a raised to 9 then I press equal to I get this much. So this answer is going to be 699.49. So in this way we can use our store value. You can use any of these values A, B, C, D, E, F and you can use all of them together as well. If you want an equation in many of the variables you can store those values in this and you will get your answers. Now those values that are stored can be used anytime and will be replaced only if you store once again the value in those particular values. So if, uh, if I want to access, I will just say alpha a and press equal to I have 1.0625. So if I want to replace this value, let's say by 1.07, I will say this alpha, sorry. First, we have to write, uh, say store. So, shift STO, you will see STO pop up on the top of your calculator and then press A. 
so you can see this value has been stored in a now if you press alpha a you will get 1.07 so now it has replaced the value either in that manner or in your calculator just above 9 you will see a CLR return in yellow in this app there is no such uh, button here but that if you press shift 9 it will give you an option to clear three things it will ask you to clear uh, setup it will ask you to clear memory or it will ask you to clear all if you clear memory it will clear all types of memory so it will clear all the things that you had stored and if you press all it will clear again everything it will clear setup as well as memory now we actually never use any different kinds of setup so it does not matter you can press um, yeah, clear all and it will clear everything so here I have a different uh, clear uh, and now I have cleared all the variables now if I press our alpha a and press equal to it is just showing me nothing it is just showing me a because I have no value stored in this so if you store a value in any of these variables it will stay there forever unless and until you replace that or you clear your memory. So this way we can store a particular value and use it. Now to showcase the m plus function I will use the calculator itself because the app does not work the similar way our calculator does. So, so first of all we should always check now we will use this m plus button to see that we should always check whether there is a value stored in our m or not because m plus what we do is we add a value to our m and for m minus what we do is we subtract a value from our m so therefore we should always check whether there is a value stored in m now there are two ways to do that first of all what you can do is press this alpha button and then m plus and press equal to and it is going to show you 0 that means there is no value stored in our m plus other than that if there is a value stored let's say I say 6 m plus what happens is you can see here there is an m value that always stays so when I press equal to uh, ACC there is still an m or if I shut it off and then on there is still an m because it will be stored indefinitely unless and until you clear that value so what you can do is you can basically replace your value by saying shift uh, let's say on and we'll say 0 and we'll store that value shift store to our m and now m plus is gone because there is no 0 there or what we can do is we can basically clear user clear function so we will say uh, let's say we have 6 m plus now I will say shift clear see shift 9 you can clear setup you can clear memory or you can clear all I prefer clearing all I say equal and then you can see there is no m here because I have cleared my memory so M has been removed now how do we actually use M so whenever you are actually adding up multiple values then what you can do is you can use your M plus let's say what I am doing is I am multiplying I am using my previous value to find my next value and then basically um, I am finding um, basically I am then adding them up so first of all let's say my first value is shift e raised to minus 3 so this is my first value now what I want to do is I want to multiply this value with a number and then whatever answer I get I need to add it up to this number so first I'll store this in, uh, into our m so I'll press m plus you can see answer m plus so after I answer m plus what I'll do is I'll multiply this value with 3 I get this particular value this I will store in m plus so it gives me answer m plus then now I can basically 
multiply this with another value so I'll press into and now I will multiply it with let's say 3 divided by 2 equal to I get this value now I want to store this I want to add that to our previous value so m plus then I will say this into 3 divided by 3 gives me this another m plus then I will say into 4 divided by 3 is another m plus and finally you can find your final answer so for final answer you will say alpha m equal to and you get this is your final answer